Okay, welcome back. Um, now we're going to look at different ways that we can uh, display content. Um, okay, so I'm going to come over here to my motorcycles tab here, and you'll notice a different image right here. Um, I'm, I'm just I threw in uh, some new images since the last video just to kind of make things look nicer. Um, it's nothing we haven't uh, done before. See, I've done the same thing over here, um, just to try and make things look a little nicer. Um, here's my gallery section, and I added that new motorcycle there, and of course we still have the galleries down below. Okay, so um, it's nothing we haven't covered so far. So anyway, what I'd like is a content slider down here that displays different articles. And the articles I want to use are going to be these different motorcycles right here. Um, so I think that would look pretty nice. So anyway, over here in the Joomla extensions directory, um, I found this one called MJ Slider Dynamic, and it is free. And uh, let's take a look at their website here. Okay, so we can live demo it. Here's the web address, but just go to the Joomla extensions directory and you can just search for you know MJ Slider Dynamic. And here's where you download it. I've already downloaded this one. And so um, again, what I want to do is put a content slider you know, down below right here. But anyway, let's go ahead. So extension manager, we've done this a bunch of times. Same exact thing. Choose file, to my downloads, and right there, there it is. So anyway, see how it says on zip first? Always check that. So anyway, um, uh, the text doesn't seem to do much good there. But anyway, uh, I always check to unzip your uh, zip files that you get from modules. Okay, so anyway. Should only take a second here. Okay, there we go. And it looks like it was successful. So let's go over to our module manager now. And there it is. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so remember, we're going to put it down below right here. So anyway, um, for menu assignment, go ahead and put that on um, only the pages selected, deselect everything, and then right now we'll put it on motorcycles. And um, okay, publish it, of course. For the position, um, we're in the pre-simple template. Let's see here, content bottom. That's gonna work right there. Okay, content bottom. So remember, we want it at the bottom there. For the number of columns, let's show at least five five articles at a time, maybe, maybe four. I don't know. We'll try that and see how that works. Okay, um, module permissions is fine. Filter options. We're going to include the uh, child categories there and um, we'll pick motorcycles. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Let's go ahead and set the count to, um, well, if we hover over right here, see how it says if we leave it at zero, it's going to display all of them. Let's display all of the motorcycle articles. So we'll put a zero in there. Okay, display options. Um, okay, we'll display the category title, no. Item title, yeah, for sure. Um, I think. I want to get rid of the number of hits and get rid of read more. Um, I think read more is pretty obvious, so I don't want to just clutter up the space with that. Okay, image options. Let's just have the intro image. If you remember, we had those little teaser intro images right there. And um, we'll set it for 200 pixels by 100 pixels, just little rectangles down at the bottom there. That way maybe they'll all fit. Okay, well, let's just save it right now and uh, see whether or not we've been successful. Okay, so let's refresh our page here. And look at that, it works. Okay, there's some problems with it though. I don't like how there are different sizes. We have to fix that right now. Okay, but it seems to work. It's sliding through all of our articles and it's a pretty slick feature to have at the bottom like that. So I do like that. Okay, so let's make some changes right here and adjust this to make it how we want it. Okay, so let's see here. Image options, or maybe it is display options. Um, description max. Nope. Okay. So image options. Um, ah, resize method. Okay. So, um, looks like maybe if we crop and resize or we're already set to let's crop. Okay. Um, that might do it right there. Let's go ahead and, uh, check the damage here. So refresh, hopefully they're a little, uh, 200 by 100 pixel. Ah, there we go. They're all uniform now. See, that looks nice. Okay. Except for let's ditch that title. Um, okay. So hide the title save okay so refresh there there nice and sharp okay I like that that's exactly what we were going for and uh, everything seems to be working fine that's a nice way to cruise through all of our different motorcycles okay okay and if we uh, click on a single article way too skeletal looking I want that down on the bottom there that slider on each one of those motorcycles okay just like we have here so let's go back to the uh, whoops whoops module here and um, we'll go to menu assignment Okay, so only on the pages selected. Let's reverse that, actually, okay? On all pages except those selected. 
Okay, so we'll deselect the motorcycle. Let's keep it off the home page. We'll keep it off galleries too. It'll look kind of cluttered having the little article gallery there below our galleries. Okay, and let's go ahead and try that. Um, yes. Okay, so let's save that. Um, so if we come over here, this one's going to stay the same, okay? What we want is when they cruise through here and they find a motorcycle to click on, they'll still have access to that article slider down at the bottom. There we go, okay? So that works just fine, okay? And again, if we click on a different article, um, same thing, okay? And that should be for every single one of these motorcycles, all right? And so each individual motorcycle will have this article slider. And then if we go up to a category blog, Hopefully, there it is, down at the bottom, okay? So, uh, it's a pretty nice way to manage all of this content. Okay, and let's check the home page, and it's not there, which is what we want. So again, this was MJ Slider Dynamic, and it's uh, free. There are hundreds of different article displays out there, so feel free to take the time to, uh, you know, go ahead and explore all the different options that are out there. And um, in the next video, we're actually going to look at a uh, display for um, embedded YouTube videos. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks.